Hello everyone and welcome back to this Microsoft Dynamics 365 plugin development course. In today's video we will see what are the key considerations that you need to take for writing any custom code or performing any custom development in Dynamics 365. And in this video we will see what are the key considerations that you need to make before doing any custom development to extend your Dynamics 365 instance. So the first thing you need to keep in mind is that before designing any custom items for extending the Dynamics 365 application, first check if you can achieve the requirements via the built-in options that are available in Dynamics 365. For example, case management solution or service management or product by setting up the product catalog in proper manner. If you are able to utilize or leverage the out-of-the-box functionalities or the features that are already available in Dynamics 365, whether you are able to achieve your requirements through any of them, that would be the first thing that you need to take care of. And the next thing that you need to keep in mind is that you must try to leverage the no-code solutions that are available in Dynamics 365. Uh, no-code solutions like, like out-of-the-box workflows, dialogues, business process flows, business rules, roll of fields and calculated fields. Are you able to achieve any of your functionality or some of your functionality or majority of your functionality through any of these no-code solutions options that are given by the Microsoft Dynamics 365 platform. So if you are able to achieve uh, any of or even if the one single requirement from this no-code solution then uh, it is always recommended to go for them. For example, uh, there might be a simple scenario that whenever a customer is created in Dynamics 365 instance then you need to send them and welcome mail. Then instead of writing a custom plugin or a custom workflow instead of writing a plugin or a custom workflow it is always recommended that you choose the out of the box workflow uh, which will be able to send an email through out of the box workflow as well so that is why it is always recommended to leverage the no code solutions first and then if at all uh, there are certain scenarios there is no options left for you to go for out of the box or no code solutions then only you go for the custom development. So having said that uh, for a, any technical architect or technical consultant in order to design a custom uh, solution for Dynamics 365 instance, uh, these are the key considerations that you need to make. Uh, that is all about this video. In our next module, we will see the fundamentals of plugin development. Hope to see you in next video. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.